All right, everybody, welcome back to Phasmophobia. Spooky edition. <laughs> the game has been out for a year and they released their Halloween update recently. And how I thought it would be very fitting on Halloween to come in here and at least play a little bit. We're going to do another single player attempt. They updated the game quite a bit too, so. I don't imagine this is going to go very well, but we're going to try. Um, also, though, they sp spookied up the lobby, and I've been in here once before already, but I wanted to show you guys around. So they allowed you to pick up a flashlight, UV flashlight, for this reason. Don't talk to them. I hate it here. Who are these people? Help us where... Like, it's, it's kind of cool. Run. Yeah, that's what the crucifix looks like. It's one, it's upside down. Two, it's broken a bunch. Um, why are you here? I like that the UV light is still on. Now, the rest of this is where it gets really creepy. They made the lobby absolutely terrifying. Uh, what's the point? I'm scared. I can't go. Why? Where am I? Um, help me. <laughs> I'll get there in a minute. 666. If you do end up getting this score to uh, 666... It does do some stuff. Uh, go away. Run. The pentagram on the floor. The footsteps. Um, stay with me. So, but there's also... Um, we have a friend in the lobby. Hi! Oh, that's terrifying. I'm under the... The cabin. Help me. Stay with me. Why are you here? Go away. Ugh! It's just, it's unnerving. There we go. Now it's better. <laughs> just put the music back on. It makes it better, right? <laughs> um, let's see. The only other thing was... Yeah, lots of that stuff. So, there's a few. I know what they are. But for the sake of showing you guys what they are. Um, help me. You open this. There is a scary, bloody uh, skeleton that falls out. That It's kind of hard to see initially. Um, but this is the one that will get you. I hope this isn't loud because it was really loud last time. So, you follow the footprints. And you go to the door here. Oh, it didn't do it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was going to trigger sooner. Ah! <laughs> Gosh dang it. Oh, it got me. Okay. It got me again. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. Um, but, yeah, so there's that. Oh, also... Uh, doing this for the past few videos. Purple lighting. It's all dark. At least everything looks purple to me. Um, hopefully it comes through a little bit in the video. It's all spooky. Alright, well, let's give this a shot. They've changed a few things, and... Oh, look at that. I can do that in the menu. Uh, okay, yeah. Let's go single player. Um, let's see. Oh, they also did something with the settings. Like, I haven't had my new graphics card get pushed past like 65 70 percent this maxed out my graphics card so if that ends up happening i may have to tweak some things because it was going insane last time i played this but there was an update maybe that changed some things anyway they added a new map they added um oh god do i want to do that no but i do i want to show it off to you guys Ugh. they made it so you can pick every location now and choose every difficulty which i think was a good call um, I'm assuming, yeah, I'll just, oh, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I wanted to be like, well, let's just go do the high school again, because I like the high school. But the campsite is really interesting. Um, and I don't want to do it on amateur, because I don't, I probably should do it on amateur, because when I'm by myself, this, this area is quite large. Um... Yeah, we probably should. And I didn't even, like, I tested it to go see what it looked like. 
the first time, and I was not able to even figure out remotely one where the ghost was or how to unlock part of the map because it's like half of it's locked, not half, a chunk of it's locked. So half of it's just going to be doing that and probably accidentally stumbling upon the ghost area because it probably won't be in that area, but it was last time. Anyway, whatever. We'll do amateur for the sake of not wanting to die. Um, I do want to bring a strong flashlight. I should probably buy some sanity pills. Uh, motion sensor, eh. Well, I mean, we'll have to find the dang thing. Parabolic microphone might actually be useful here. Uh, let's see, thermometer. I don't know how helpful that's gonna be here. We'll take it, just in case. I'm taking so many things that I shouldn't be taking. Um, let's see. <laughs> crucifix would be nice. Let's get a crucifix and sanity pills. And we'll go from there. Uh, crucifix. And sanity pills. Oh, those are expensive. Ooh. Okay. Um, add... Or those sanity pills that they were down here. Sanity pills and a crucifix. Okay, let's go back. Uh, we've got all these goodies. We got all the basic stuff. We've got the strong flashlight, which will be good. Hopefully that's enough. Oh, they added weather. That's right. I had the horrible experience of having it be foggy when I did the campsite the first time I wanted to go look at it. I think there's like rain, variations of rain, variations of fog, and there's clear night. We're probably going to get like thunder, rainstorm. I'm delaying the inevitable. Let's just go. Let's just go. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, let's just do it. Uh, oh, I actually should probably keep an eye on my computer, so give me just a second. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's probably going to start spiking. Hold on. Okay, I think I've helped things a little bit. Um, I was just watching the performance of my card while I was changing settings. I turned off a lot of stuff. I don't think it's going to make... Well, it's making a little bit of a difference. Yeah, we're not peaking out at 100%. Um, so, if the game doesn't look quite as polished, it's because I turned a lot of things off, just for the sake, since I'm recording it as well. Um, if it ends up affecting performance significantly, I'll turn things back on, but only to the point of, you know, not wanting the frame rate to tank or anything like that. Um, anyway, okay, so we should have five minutes. This area is huge, so I already know we don't have fog, because last time I did this, I couldn't even see through the camera. So, ooh, that was terrifying. Okay, good. Nothing out in those areas. That's... Guys, this is a creepy map. Ugh, okay, blow to camp. Don't have it. I don't... I don't have a motion sensor. Care. Oh, we have a Karen. Guys, I don't want... Oh, it's a Karen ghost. Uh, people in there alone. Doesn't matter. I'm by myself. Oh, no. Um, what else? Okay, so they have these... This is just for the campsite. Um, but uh, they said that they're going to add this type of map view to the entire, like, the rest of the maps of the game, which is super cool. Um, yeah, so you can actually, it goes through all the different levers as well. So, you can see the cabin over here in the corner. Uh, that is what we need to get into, but I have not been able to figure out a way to get in there yet, but based on my first, you know, run around. Um, the power is behind the big tent to our right as we come in. I think, because this is where I'm at, I think, is the red dot. That's where the truck is. Yeah, it's a truck. So the power is behind that first big area. Okay, good to know. I had a terrifying moment last time, right as I was leaving. I went and turned on all the lights, and they all got turned off immediately. Oh, speaking of which, they have changed. Um, they've added ghosts, and they had to change how one of the other ghosts worked. But they've added four ghosts, I think. The Onryo, I'd have probably saying all these wrong, uh, s often referred to as the Wrathful Spirit. It steals souls from its dying victims' bodies to seek revenge. Oh no. This ghost is known to fear any form of fire and will do anything to stay far from it. I'm wondering if that has anything to do with candles. Existing, extinguishing a flame can cause an uh, Onryo to attack. So it blowing out a candle could cause it to hunt. Uh, 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 when threatened, this ghost will 
be less likely to hunt. Okay, so just putting up... I'm assuming candles would cause it to go away. Or do you think holding a lighter on would do it? Interesting. Things to think about. The twins. This I am terrified of because we've never had to deal with two ghosts at once before. It's only just been one. Uh, these ghosts have been reported to mimic each other's actions. They alternate their attacks to confuse their prey. Either twin can be angered and initiate attack on their prey. The twins will often interact with their environment at the same time. Don't know what that means. Uh, I'm assuming this is Raija, Ra Raiju, Raiju, is a demon that thrives on electrical current. While generally calm, they become agitated when overwhelmed with power or strength. Raiju can siphon power from nearby electrical devices, making it move faster. Weakness. Raiju are constantly disrupting electronic equipment, making it easier to track when attacking. But all the ghosts do that. Well, okay. Not true, technically, if you have, like, lights on. And then the Obake. Are terrifying shapeshifters capable of taking on many forms? They've been seen taking on humanoid shapes to attract their prey. Strengths when interacting with the environment, an Obake will rarely have a... Leave a trace. Interact with the environment, they will rarely leave a trace. So, fingerprints and things aren't likely, I guess? Or they won't step in salt, maybe? Sometimes this ghost will shapeshift, leaving behind unique evidence. I don't know what that means. Oh no. And then, of course, we got 20 ghosts. Like, what the crap? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, and they also changed... Um, instead of it just being on professional when the whole area gets cold, intermediate now is always cold when you start. So you have to go turn the power on then as well. Which I'm just like... I don't want to play on that now either, because the cold places suck. Um, but we do need to figure out the best way to do this. So first, main flashlight. Um, I think we're going to take the motion sense or the mi microphone, and this. Take the thermometer. So we're going to see how this goes. I don't know. They, they said they changed a lot of weird things with the temperature, so I don't know how reliable this is actually going to be. Um, I, I don't really know. So, but this, this apparently, you know, there's, they made some changes to the mic, which should make it e like, more effective as a tool. I just am delaying inevitable. Let's just go outside already. It's, I've, I've, yeah, there's been lots of talking. I, oh, oh, well, it's not, there's no weather. So that's good. Oh, God. Did I grab the, I did. This is cool. I like this. That also means if the ghost is hunting, this will not be open. Oh, god. Okay. Okay. Um, so they added a mechanic. That's this. So you can rip the tent uh, entrances open. So the tents... Okay, this is another thing. It says in the entry now, like, how, what things have... Like, what are rooms um, and things like that. Like, how many rooms a map has. And this is one of those where I'm like, what is considered a room? I don't know. Uh, what would you consider a room? Also, this entire place is going to be the same temperature. I don't know how to determine if something is or isn't temperatured. I like this. This is, you know, warming, kind of. Um, oh, God, we gotta kind of... There's the generator. That's cool. That's cool. Hmm. Okay, so we have a bathroom here with stalls. I don't know how you're supposed to hide on this map either. So, this may result in me just running away screaming. Or running away screaming and dying. Okay, so that has both entrances. I only walked through here once. I think there's a key somewhere here. I think. Because I think I needed to find a key last time, but I never actually found it. We need to go... Hello? Uh-oh. Hello? Oh, 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 what was that? 
I heard that. This is why I don't like this map! Like, I know where the places are in the other maps. Because they're rooms, it's not outside! Ugh, did I actually bring the sanity pills? I did. Okay, well, it's probably close. Right? It's probably close. To the entrance. If that's the case. Guys... I don't... I don't want... Like... Really... This is where it's at. Gosh dang it! Okay. Okay. Oh, breathe. It's somewhere in that area. Okay. 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 Wow, it is it tanked that's not good. Uh, I'm trying to be... Uh, it, mm, okay. Um, we don't know if there's not freezing temperatures, because it got cold. Did, okay, well... It's, okay. Uh, I don't know. EMF? It seemed real ticked when I... Okay, let's just, let's just do the things. We're still fine. Sanity's up. Lights are still on. Just gotta set all the stuff up. Okay, okay, just... Whew, don't know how big this area is, or what we're looking for, but, you know, we're trying. That looks like a ghost orb. Right in front of us? Yep. Well, that was... Oh, God. Okay. This could be... It could be a lot of them. It could be a lot of them. Uh, it could be a lot of them. Sanity is, is not good. Uh, okay. Book. This. Dot projector. Freak. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm glad that was f consistent. Uh. God, the problem is I have nowhere to hide. If I get attacked, I'm dead. Yeah, and it could it could attack at any time now. But it got re hold on. It got really ticked when I started talking. Is that the is that this one? Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, maybe we should... Well, we got really lucky with guessing that. Yeah, like, I don't know where it would have shown up after that, because the background is so hard to see. I mean, that was a ghost storm. Oh, God. Alright, well... Okay, 
deep breath. Just, we can't talk, because it might be this one. <sighs> Going dark. Where are you? Are you friendly? How old are you? Are you friendly? Okay, so it didn't respond. That doesn't mean it. Whoa, it was doing some things. It was doing some things. As soon as I started talking, it got active, though. So I'm surprised that the spirit box didn't do anything. It did drain my sanity a bit, but I don't think we even have that ghost as an option. To, well, isn't that the urine that does that? Isn't that what you do? Oh, it could be you. It could be you, but I feel like we would have seen you on the dots projector already. I don't know. I feel like sometimes these things just don't show up at all. I finally did have a dots projector thing happen. It took forever, but... Or, like, it took a while for me to have, an, like, an actual uh, time where it did happen. Um, <clears throat> oh, why? 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 Why you be so active? Uh, okay. Well, book is next. Um, I should probably take the temperature again. You're doing a lot of things, which I don't like. Yeah, don't like it. The light's still on? Yes. Okay, going quiet again. Can you write in the book? Can you write in our book? Write in the book. How old are you? Where are you? Yeah, it's slow. Every time I go into that area, it drains just a little bit more. <sighs> it's not moving objects, though. It's not moving objects. I got UV. I mean, that's like the only other real big pieces of evidence I can get right now. Freezing temperatures, dots projector, EMF5, fingerprints... I can look for fingerprints. There's no apparently they, those don't stay forever now either, which I don't like. But what are you gonna do? I, I mean, it's possible that okay. So there's this left side. It may be well. We got like spooked over here. So I feel like it's this whole area, like that whole corner area there. I don't know. I don't know. All right, I've try again. Going dark.
Can you turn out the light? Turn off the lights. Can you write in the book? Where are you? How old are you? Oh, now it gets active after I leave. Well, it's not, it's not moving anything. Okay. Okay. Let's assume, now they did say they were going to have the new ghost show up more for the next like two weeks or something, this week or two weeks or something like that. Now, putting that into consideration, let's go take a look at that. Uh, we have Ghost Orb, so it could be one of the three brand new ghosts, which is would support what we're talking about. So it's not the twins. Thank heavens. My gosh. Often referred to as the Wrathful Three. I suppose we're going to say Ghost Orb. Fire. Doesn't like fire. Um, I don't even have fire. So I... Mm, I feel like it would have done the spirit box. I feel like freezing temperatures would have shown up by now. Uh, siphon power. I mean, it's not... It's not doing like all the powers on, so it's I don't oop, I don't think that's what it is. Uh, and then it could be an opaque, which I th I will rarely leave a trace. I don't know what unique evidence means, but there so there was there has not been any movement of objects. That's been one thing. I did see something weird when we were coming back that was like moving across the ground. That wasn't even any activity. That was like freaking T-posed across the screen. Or not even T-posed, it was like arms slightly at an angle down. Okay. Okay, well that's evidence. Oh, it's totally a Raja then. A Raj, Raja, Raja. No, it's not an Obake. I thought it was an Obake. I was going to guess Obake. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's a Banshee. Uh, a Yur, a Yurai, a Yokai. Or a Raju. A Banshee. I don't know how we're going to get fingerprints here. Both of the the ghosts with Y's in their names, a stronger effect on people's sanity. It it did do quite a chunk early on. That's the only thing that makes me think that it maybe maybe it's that. Then okay. Talking seemed to tick it off though. That's the one thing that's it hasn't done anything with the spirit box. And there's no freezing temperatures. And I don't think it's this. This doesn't make sense. I don't think it's one of those guys. Okay, well, the only... Okay, so... We, uh, can I mark off ghosts? I don't think it is. No, I can't do that. Um, well, actually, in that case, what was the evidence for this guy? It was EMF-5. So let's assume that EMF-5 is not something we can get. So it's either a Banshee or the two Y ghosts. And a Banshee doesn't like the Crucifix. Which we did bring a Crucifix, right? I thought I bought a Crucifix and brought it. <gasps> I'm a dumb. I, brought, I bought it and didn't bring it, I think, right? That was dumb. That was a dumb move. That was dumb... 
Right. Totally forgot about the walkie-talkie. Uh, okay. So I can't even really test that, I guess. Freezing temperatures is still a potential option, and so is Spirit Box. So we could try one last thing and go full pain or full insanity meds. Go 100% sanity. We can see if I turn the power off. It did turn the power off. Well, we gotta go turn the power back on now. Um, check the temperature. Check the spirit box. And that's about all we can do. That's like I'll check both of those, and then we'll go from there. It did turn the power off. Cool beans. How old are you? Where are you? <sighs> I, I, oh my gosh. I got jump scared by some leaves. Okay, well, well, gosh dang it. So the temperature never got below, like, what, 5 degrees Celsius? So I don't think that we can have, we can say that it's this. As much as, like, I was talking, or as much as I, like, my sanity did drop early on, that was probably just because of the interaction with the ghost and it being dark. Um, so I'm going to rule that out and say that it is not freezing temperatures. Now, the one that's frustrating is that Spirit Box is weird because it just sometimes doesn't do anything, which means if it's not that, it's a Banshee. The only thing reason why I'm saying it could be a Banshee is because I can't tell with fingerprints how in the world it would even try. It's not like it turned the lights off, it turned the generator off. And I know that because we have two things with the light on, so I know. <sighs> it's not like it tries to hunt in the dark more or anything like that. Um, shoot. Okay. <sighs> the talking thing really made the yokai... A yo yokai... Yeah, the yo yokai... Um, ticked at the beginning. I thought that was what that was causing... What was causing that. Because it has had its spikes in activity, but it's only been when I've been talking... But the spirit box hasn't been... And I can't gamble. Okay, we have a gamble. We've either got to assume that fingerprints aren't going to show up anywhere. And now that they disappear, I don't know how I'd even find those. And it gets ticked because I was talking to it. Because I don't think it's temperature. Temperature is completely ruled out at this point. I will say that. We've been in this map for too long. So it's one of two things. If, if the spirit box is just being dumb... Then it's this. The, the talking seemed to confirm that. I would come back to the truck after saying something, and there was usually some activity. I think most of the time. The Banshee's the only one I'm like, mm, yeah, but... Eh. I Fingerprints, I don't know how you find them on this map. It seems like that would be so hard on this map. There's no doors. Other than, like, on the bathrooms, the tents, you rip the tents open. <sighs> okay. The speaking one is more hard evidence than the Banshee one. So we're going to go with the Yokai. Okay? Probably wrong. I don't want to stay here any longer. <laughs> uh, we did get the dots projector, though. That was terrifying. And I... I mean, I haven't been here the whole time to look at this. Um, but it may have happened another time. But that was the one time we caught it doing it. Interesting. Well, let's just go. I want to see what happens. Oh my gosh. 
No, thank you, sir. That was terrifying. That was terrifying. <sighs> Welcome back. Oh, <gasps> I did it! That was it. The spirit box just wasn't doing this thing. Mm, 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 mm. I think that's the first successful. Did we get a successful on the other one? Then I guessed it. Oh, that's awesome. That's the first successful one I've done solo, I think. Man. Oh, playing this game alone does not do good things for your sanity. I'm just like, I'm so tense and the adrenaline. Ah! <laughs> well, cool. Gain some experience. Two ghost events. Amount of ghost interactions. So the two ghost events, uh, there was like a, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, you know, off in the distance. That made so much sense because I was talking so much when I went in the first time. Oh, <gasps> I mean, like, I know I used that as the final piece of evidence, but like, that was the only two times we ever had real big ghost events was when I was there talking. Amount of ghost interaction. We didn't see anything move, though. That was so annoying because there was like toys and stuff all over the ground. That we could have seen move. There was a table full of stuff nearby. Again, I don't know how big the rooms are for those uh, events. Here, I'll actually show you what I'm talking about. Um, 25 rooms. The asylum, 119. That's why we don't go there anymore. Prison only has 29. Um, high school, 58. That's a lot. Middle Street, only 10. That's one of the newer ones as well. Grafton Farmhouse only has 13. Uh, uh, Bleasdale Farmhouse only has 16. Ridgeview Roadhouse has 16. Tanglewood Street has 11. So I believe... And then 16 for uh, Edgefield Street House. Yeah, the campsite's just... Oh, it's too, too, too. The asylum is like... It's, yeah, high school's 58. That's a lot. It's like, it is a lot. And then you go to the asylum and you're like, I hate this. Um, yeah, I think the Willow Street House is the smallest house of all of them. Oh my gosh. Well, cool. Made 30 bucks. We didn't die. We got a dots projector thing to show up on the camera. Um, oh, that was okay. Woo, spooky time. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was terrifying. Never again. Um, yeah, no, that was... Ugh. That was horrific. Hi, you're... I don't like you. You just... Oh, I don't... Okay, we're not going to look at you. I'm going to stay over in the red light. Not that that's comforting, but, you know. Um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, well, welcome back to another year of Phasmophobia. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we'll just leave that on. Um, yeah, welcome back to more Phasmophobia. There will probably be more content that sporadically shows up on the channel of this game again. I'm hoping to maybe do some more content with some friends of mine. This game is definitely better when you play with other people. Obviously, it's more fun to be scared with your friends than to be scared by yourself because you have to make all the decisions and commit to all the scariness by yourself. <laughs> But either way, thank you guys. Uh, I know that was probably a little lengthy, but I hope you had a fun time uh, doing some more spooky stuff. So thanks again, and happy Halloween. Catch you guys next time. Bye.